I hit the Bronto, didn't I? Oh, yep, I did. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we're going after a new creature. And I know, I'm adding a lot of new creatures here recently. The main reason is because they're all high quality creatures. And that last one we added, Garuga did help with it. And this one, uh, Up From The Depths even gave it a shout out. So, and I went and watched their live stream. It's a high quality creature. I feel like it's, yeah, it's there. We need, we need it. And it is the Monolophosaurus. So this is the first uh, 150 to spawn in. Oop, I just realized this as well. I nearly forgot a Cryopods and Statman. All right, so we got my Cryopods. I'm putting up Statman. Now, before I leave here, I do want to show you guys one thing. So, I'll just do it right here. We were able to add Helicoprions to our uh, genetic library. And as well, you might notice there, they also have a green on them, which is a very nice jade. And the way we were able to get that is because I turned on all the events again. So all three of the events that are out are now available. And so this is now our personal Helicopteron. I just named her Printer. Because that's all she does is print me blueprints. So that way I can have nice gear. And yeah, I've already gone through and I've... Legit, legit, this is awesome. I've already gone through and got all my gear set up. And she worked out perfectly. I got a... Like, just base taming, one of the Helicoprions I tamed had a 55 in its conversion. Which, if you guys don't know, if you put all 88 points into that, that will get you a perfect 99.5. And which, I already knew that from Ark Survival Evolved because that's what I did with my last ones. And yeah, that turned out perfect. Now, they do also have some other stat- Oh, Statman's in his cryopod. I was about to go run over and get him. And I was like, oh no, I don't have him. And yeah, no I do. Yeah, this is how their stats turned out. So I did still manage to get somewhat of health and stamina in them and a bit of melee. But all their points, all the points I've dumped into the conversion stat. So that way any blueprint we put in there is legit 0.5% of failing. Now, that doesn't mean like they won't fail. But it means that there's a good chance that they'll never fail. So, you know, there's still that 0.5. You could still put a good blueprint in there and then be sitting there dumbstruck when it's like, wait, 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 it broke? And you have like 99.5. And I imagine I will have that at some point. Because I remember having it at least twice. And, uh, yeah, no, I had it at least twice in uh, my previous one. Because I put in a tech cannon. It was the, it was an ascendant uh, mech cannon for my back I got from a drop. I put it into my Helicopteron to convert it, so that way I can craft it to get a better one, and well, uh, it broke. Alrighty, so now we're closing in on the- get out of my way! So now we're closing in on this guy, so there should be two of them, two other ones here around. Should be a level 100, and, uh, we're near my base, aren't we? I see one of my water pots. Okay, so we are near the base, but yeah, so there should be two more of these guys around here somewhere. I'm going to quickly fill up on food, so I don't have... I just tried eating the bile. Good thing I can't eat their toxin. So, Rhino Nanthia, Larry, go pass it. I am going into bush mode. We are one with the bushes. Nothing can see us. Is it running? Damn it. I hit the Bronto, didn't I? Oh, yep, I did. Okay, I've made some mistakes. Uh, we need to go into first person. Reload the shotgun. I need to make sure this 150 doesn't die to these. Okay. We're gonna let them eat the corpses. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know if it's running from me. Or if it's... What do I... 
I thought it was a passive. Hello? <gasps> oh! I saw it. I saw it there for a second. It's... Okay, it's like I can't get a good hit on its bo the hitbox. Okay. Oh, you see you, you Ow, goddamn raptor. What do I have? Oh, I have fists. I didn't I thought I pulled out my gun there for a second. No, I think I put my gun away. There's something, like, I think the corpse is around. I'm surprised he hasn't attacked me yet. Larry! Alright, I gotta kill this love bug because it's gonna keep attacking me. I forgot that they spawned in the Redwoods. I guess they kind of... They do spawn just all over the map. So, let's do this. So, damn it, that raptor. There we go. Pro, like a surgeon with the shotgun. Not even a scratch on him. Okay. Oh, okay, we got it. We got it. 18%. Now, you can give it kibble, it said... But if you have the bile on you, I guess you're like, they're passive to you. Or if you're feeding them the bile. I don't know. I think it's something like that. Gotta be. Damn it. Okay, that reset my taming. That was just perfect. I feel like I'm going to lose efficiency on him. Come back, come back, come back. Damn it. Why do their... Ooh. He's just gonna keep on eating all this. How are you guys even spotting me? I'm in full ghillie. <laughs> These raptors just know where you are. Okay. Hopefully we can... Passive. Yep. I don't know how long the wait is in between food. Okay. It's probably a little bit. But we'll just crouch around. I feel like that would help uh, us not get spotted. He doesn't seem to get want to attack Larry. I'm thinking that's just because Larry is such a big creature. So... He might want to attack other creatures like Argentavises or Pterodons. So just keep a heads up if you guys are out here doing that. Um, I thought there were two more like right on him. Like it seemed like they spawn in packs. Like big packs too. Like five like raptors do. Ooh, okay, so the weight on feeding is not far. So I'm wondering if it's based on movement. Like on distance from last feed. Because I know there are some tames that are like that. Uh, like there is one... Uh... The Tech Strider, that's how its taming was based off of. Is how far it moved from the last tame. Like the last taming spot. Like The last... Yeah. The last time you did the thing to do it's taming it, the taming mechanic or the hacking. Also, I forgot to throw out Statman to check this guy's stats. Um, I guess we can now because he's ours. And oh, holy shit, it just got foggy. Ugh, you're the, you're a girl too. I've been calling you a him. Okay, you know what? 
you know what? I am actually really pr proud of that. I didn't even know the stats beforehand, and we got a really good roll. We got 48 in health and 51 in stamina. So that means the next one I only have to try and get melee in, which is honestly sometimes the hardest one. Because when you're looking for just that one stat, um, most of the time it's like the fifth one that you get, like finally, it's like barely like acceptable. And then you're like, all right, I, you know, I can do better than this. And then you hang on to that one and then you can't do better than it. You never, you never can for some reason. Like you do another 10 of them with good stats in the, in the stat that you want. And then, well, guess what? You never get the stat that you need with all the points in it. All right, I, I just realized instead of hitting escape, I hit the pause button. But knowing my luck, uh, I'm probably going to have like 19 Silica Pearls and I need 20. So might, I might hit up a beaver dam on the way home just to make sure. Alrighty, I have just enough for all the stuff. So we got the mono saddle. Now we're getting the shield and the saddle blades. So that is an attachment, I believe. Alright, yeah, no, it's it works just like that other one where it's... They're like cosm like not cosmetics, but like armor pieces. So let's go see our mono. I left him out over here. And we'll throw the saddle on you. Boom. And there's that. Now how do I attach this? Alright, now that's all on there. Okay, and then head. So then you have a blade on your head? Okay. That actually kind of looks good. I don't know if I like the blade on the nose, though. But the shield. I wonder what the shield is meant for. Okay, hold up. Blade crest. So I'm wondering if that gives us a bleed effect, maybe. Alright, hold up. I need to... Uh... That's the cosmetic roar. Hold up. I need to pull up the instructions. Okay, so the controls are a little uh, simple. So you got left click for a bite attack. Then I got right click for a headbutt. And I'm guessing that's going to give the, you know, the blade's going to give an effect there. And we also, if I go in my inventory, I believe, uh, I, no, that's not my inventory, the creature's inventory. I believe I can feed it that. And then it's, yes, we got acidic bile. Which uh, causes bites to infect an acid l that burns enemies. So, yeah. We'll test that here in a second. And then we also got another buff. Insect killer. Huge damage increase upon killing bugs. So, as you may tell, this thing is just simply... Uh, I can't think. Why can't I think today? Jeez. This thing is simply a cave creature, you know? Caving. Like, you... You can own the land with it. Also, let's get Statman out. Statman! So, yeah. So, we're going to quickly uh, take you for a runner. Oh, I can't, I can't run. Can you swim? Is that not an option for... Oh, okay. Sorry, the Ceratosaurus, uh, when I was... You know how I was testing them. It seemed like it should be able to walk through that water. And uh, it couldn't. But this guy, I thought like, oh, right, he's going to swim immediately. No. No, he does not. He sinks. He sinks like a rock. Ooh, we got something over here attacking the gates. Or charging the gates. Oh, it's an alpha, sir. It's an alpha mono. So these guys can drop saddles, actually. Hold up. Ah! No. That's awesome. Alright, so we already got an alpha mono saddle. So that's perfect. So, oh, you know what I'm so doing? Alright, so next episode, I got... Do you, do you think it would work? No, like, honestly, do you think it would work? Um. Um. 
This this doesn't seem fair. I I don't know. Should I should I keep it or should I put it down? I mean I should have got it. I should have I shouldn't have been the one to imprint it. I should have got Kevin and had Kevin imprint on it. I I goofed. I goofed, but yeah, you know what? I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Alrighty, so I'm also pretty sure that is a bug. So I did uh did drop it in their feedback chat. Uh so that might get fixed. Might not, but that <laughs> that seems a little weird, you know, just Ooh! Does that do a, does the headbutt do a bleed effect? Jeez, I'm getting gang attacked by these guys. I don't know if the headbutt does anything special. I thought it would. I'm wondering if I if uh, I find other alphas, if I can get like ascendant pieces to the saddle, so that way I can get like say an ascendant shield and an ascendant blade. Let's pop some bile on you. Let's see what this does. Does that increase your damage any? I don't know. I thought it would. I'm not seeing like an effect applied to guys. I think there might not be a visual effect. Oh, yep, there he is. See it? Now he's burning. Yep, that 14 is just the passive tick. So he's just passively ticking down. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Is that the baby Carno? It is. Yeah. Wow, this one gives, is giving a lot of meat, geez. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of test this out. Um, I didn't notice... Uh, I think it's the more bugs I kill, or do I have to eat this thing's body? And then it gives me the buff. No. Oh no. I want to I want to get the bug... I want to see the bug buff. Because I have not seen that pop up. I didn't notice it if... Like, after we killed the scorpion. Hello, fellow mono. Ooh, let's not fight that. That might actually mess me up. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, no, you're aggressive. Everything's aggressive now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there we go. I see the buff now for the bug. It is applied to me, and I think we're even doing it to the love bug here. We might drop the love bug. Yep, we even dropped the love bug. So, we got insect killer, so. And then we also got like an, well, looks like an alpha aurora, aura, aura around us. And I'm guessing that buff resets every time we kill an insect. Yes, it does. And it does appear that the attack does also apply to all other creatures so the more bugs we kill that insect killer also the damage transfers to other creatures nice Ugh, come on that's definitely an alpha i didn't even see the like green like was it the, not the green the i don't know what i'm talking about anymore i didn't even see the red aura around it until he got that close but yeah we're gonna avoid that and what I'm going to do here from now is I'm going to go and try and find another 150 that's hopefully a male with good stats so that way... Ooh, drop. So that way we can go and breed these guys together. I need obsidian actually right now. You guys can have... The, the ground can have the gun. I need a... Yeah, just so I can get, breed them up, get a good caving one, and then we'll go do the next cave, which is, I believe, the upper south cave. That's the next one I need for the... Megapithecus boss fight. And that's actually what we're going to be doing on Friday's Megapithecus boss fight. So tomorrow we should be doing the cave and then on Friday we should be uh, absolutely doing the Megapithecus, all right? I got I'm going to have my Serato army all that ready to go by then. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, you guys could also 
go and join up for the YouTube channel members. So if you guys don't know, we are running a members goal. And uh, for that goal, we are trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. And once we hit that goal, we are going to be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. Now, this might be a cluster, this might not, but we're thinking uh, for the first map, we're just going to go with the center. Just so that way, uh, yeah, it's the modded map. And everyone should have access to it for free. So, yeah. Anyways, it's been Genjai Mori. Sign off.